Hi witches, I hope everyone is doing super well. Um, for today's video, in case you couldn't tell by the title, I am going to be setting up my in bulk altar. So I'm super excited about that. You can see our new moon in, or yeah, new moon in Aquarius altar behind us. So there it is. You can see we built that together. Um, but now it's time to deconstruct that and get our in bulk altar set up. So um, I'm just gonna turn the camera around really quick and then we'll get started. So yes, here's the aftermath. A lot of this chaos is 100% me, but um, I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who came to visit. All right, so as always, we are starting off with our altar all clean and cleared off. And for the first time in this new space, I'm going to be putting an altar cloth on here. So let me go grab it. So I actually have two here for today. The first one I'm going to start with was actually a Yule present from one of my amazing followers. So thank you so much. Um, and this is actually a veil, but I just really like the pattern on it. And I thought that the color white and all of these kind of delicate florals really, really spoke of in bulk. So um, I'm going to be putting it right here on our altar. So friends, don't be afraid to repurpose all of your amazing veils or any scarves, any silky pieces of cloth that you have um, to decorate your altar that is perfectly fine use what you got and sometimes you uh unexpectedly find something really beautiful right so the second altar cloth that i have is actually um part of a charm casting kit from goddess provisions i just really liked the color again we have um the blue and the white which is very symbolic of in book to me um and i'm just going to put that right in the middle and this is going to be kind of the focal point of um my altar i'm going to start building everything on and around it to keep up that symmetry that we love so much here um so yeah let me grab some more objects all right, now speaking of symmetry, it would definitely not be an altar of mine if I didn't have some bones on it. Um, so I have this set of antlers here, as well as some deer vertebrae that I have from my own personal collection. Now, I really specifically wanted to add bones to this altar because I feel like this holiday is all about kind of shaking, um, you know, the coldness and the stillness from our bones and really starting to kind of get back into the world around us. So I thought that this would be a good reminder, not only of like the stillness of our planet, it right now and the fact that things are still pretty dead um at least where i am it's like 32 degrees right now oh my gosh um if you're in a warmer climate however you might want to use other things for your rainbow altar so feel free to be inspired all right next things next we're going to start adding some of our crystal allies now if you are a witch who doesn't want to deconstruct their altar all the time have no fear um a lot of the crystals that i'm going to be using in today's altar building session um i used during our new moon in aquarius altar so if you wanted to use amethyst i also have some calcite i'm putting some rose quartz on there as well as just some of my more kind of pastel Ah, colored crystals. Um, so again, feel free to be creative and maybe just add a couple other items to your altar to, you know, de designate, hey, I'm celebrating this holiday or this celestial event. It does not have to be super duper fancy and um, you can add and take away however you see fit. Next, I have this super cute incense holder that a coworker of mine gave me. Thank you so much for you all. Um, and I really wanted to include it on this altar because we are celebrating kind of the return of warmth, not so much the return of the sun, that's more Yule, but again, returning of hope, of life, of joy to the world. And that is kind of what the sun is all about. So um, that is why I'm including it in this altar. To balance out our incense, because I always like to try to find balance, I'm going to be adding um, a big vessel for solar water, which I plan on making during a month. Again, I just thought that inviting in that sort of solar energy into my, you know, spaces during a month is just one of my favorite things to do. Um, and yeah. <laughs> So for our next item, I'm going to be using some herbal allies such as chamomile, lavender, and then I don't know if you can see that, but that is Himalayan pink salt there. Um, and then I also have da, 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 this beautiful yellow candle that I have used for Imoxa celebrations in the past. It burns like amazing. It has like all those little drippy bits on there. And I am one of those witches who definitely reuses candles for different holidays and stuff. So don't be afraid to do that. A yellow candle is a yellow candle candle is a yellow candle and you ascribe the meaning to it. So just remember that. And this is one that I used to celebrate um, a lot of the sun-based holidays. So like Yule, Imbolc, um, I'll start anything leading up to basically the summer solstice. So um, old faithful over here. <laughs> um, now with the herbs, what I'm going to be doing, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of sitting on this little plate. 
I'm going to make a ring of these herbs around this candle and um, just inviting their energy into our space. And that's another reason I wanted to have an altar cloth here so I could, you know, clean up a little bit easier because, oh my goodness, dried herbs get everywhere. Ah. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can tell any difference in that, but don't worry, I'm going to get a closer view of this in just a second. I have two more items I wanted to add. Um, this is kind of like this really cute, like yellow piece of glass. I got this honestly at a thrift store for like 99 cents. So um, it has like all sorts of like floral motifs and animals. It has like birds, I think a rabbit and stuff on there as well. So I thought um, I would add this to our communal altar. I'm gonna put some tea lights in it for people to use and to light if they wanted to on Imok. And then this little cauldron here, um, I have like this little mini cauldron. This will be for the tea light discard so that way everything is kind of tidy on the altar. So, um, you know, always good to think ahead. And without further ado, let's turn the camera around. All right, one last thing, because I forgot about it when I was filming, ah! um, but I'm going to be adding all of my seeds um, to this altar as well, so they can be blessed. So I have a bunch of these, and then I got a bunch of like the wildflower seeds. I think I got this literally at the dollar store, and it actually did grow wildflowers. So um, I plan on blessing these as well, and planting some in my yard, because we had a lot of really beautiful butterflies coming by. Um, so yes, now, now I will turn around to my camera. I promise I'll stop talking. Ah! <laughs> 